Yeah, viewers and subscribers, the plan to assassinate me have been perfected. Yes, you heard me right. The plan to take my life have been perfected. And I'm not bringing you this video for you to take any action. There is little or nothing you can do about it. But I'm bringing it, this video to you and making it public for record purpose. Yes. And also to advise those who are involved. Yes. Because the forces behind what I do here, like I always say, I am not in control of what I am doing here. The forces backing what is happening on this platform is bigger than anybody, including myself. The spirit of our ancestors. I am the oracle of the gods. I am not saying it because I want to say it. I am persuaded to let you know that what you are pursuing is bigger than you. Those who are involved, I am making this video public because sometimes some of you will say, why don't you trash this thing out from the inside? No, the inside work has been perfected already. Now I'm bringing it to your notice to let you know that that thing you are planning in the dark is in the open. Nothing that happens under the sun is a secret to the forces that is backing this platform. If I be the messenger and the voice of the gods, just know that you have embarked on a mission that will only destroy you. Because of the the, the nature of this issue and um, how serious it is, I am not going to call your names here. But know you that every of your record is right here. Everything your names, where you live, the business you do, your contact in Nigeria, and everyone involved in this. Because this video is just to put you on the know that that thing you are planning, that you have perfected in Aberdeen, Scotland, is not a secret. <laughs> I laugh. And you may think I'm joking, but I'm going to give you some hints because you're watching, because you always watch this platform, all of you involved. Um, I'm going to give you a hint for you to know exactly that what you are doing is no longer a secret and i must tell you and inform you that you are all being monitored as i speak those of you in manchester those of you in london because it is being orchestrated in the uk you are all being monitored and i'm telling you this there is nothing you can do about it you cannot hide because where this information is coming from is from among you. Don't look for any other person. It's from among you. You are 11 in number. Eight guys and three ladies. You embarked on a journey to Scotland to perfect this crime. To kill me. The voice of the gods. For waiting, Kwan. But why? You are 11 in number. Where you had that meeting, where you left and gone after the meeting, the taxi drivers that took you guys, all of them are here. 
I just, I'm giving you these things for you to understand what I'm saying. And um, especially the one with dreadlocks. Hmm? You may think you are invisible. Just know that soon, one by one, you start knocking on your doors. I'm not talking about the ones in Nigeria, your contacts, whom you are meant to give orders to carry out the crime, to kill me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm giving you this piece of information for you to understand that what you did, the meeting you have up till about 3 a.m. in the morning, is not a secret. <laughs> are you surprised? Don't be. You are dealing with the gods. You are not dealing with just an ordinary man. I'm just an ordinary man, but the forces behind what I'm doing, I am not in control of it. And they will consume you. Honestly, it's because of the love I have for my people, the love and passion I have for the freedom of my people that's making me... I don't choose this for myself. This is not the kind of life I want to live. And what is my offense? What did I do to warrant this kind of orchestrated plan to, attack, to terminate my life? Good evening, wonderful people, great dear friends, wherever you are in the world. We are welcoming you to today's rather extra special edition of the News Hour Radio Biafra coming to you live from Texas, from Corpus Christi, Texas, in the United States of America. My name is your host and director of Radio Biafra, and by the grace of God, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, I am delighted to say, every Biafra, wherever you are on this planet, be it you know, um, um, today, yesterday, or from 10, 15 years ago, if you identify yourself as a Biafran, you should come under the authority and the guardianship of the Council of Elders of the Indigenous People of Biafra. We have a de facto government enshrined in the Constitution of Nigeria by virtue of the fact that we are seeking to deploy customary laws as a way of governing our people so we can have a Biafra in fact we have a de facto Biafran government as we speak headed by his royal majesty honorable justice is also retired go and register and be a part of what radio biafra is doing which automatically entitles you to become a billion human rights initiative member Bilye, if you are in nigeria you go to 90 wedro road where Outside that territory, you please contact Radio Biafra, go and volunteer, go to the Facebook and join us, register as a Biafran, as thousands upon thousands of people have done already, so we can move together as one. The entire Biafran family will be united under the leadership of the Council of Elders. I am not leading Biafra, neither is my team at the, the entire board of the Radio Biafra Editorial Board. We are not leading Biafra, neither is Bilye leading Biafrans. Biafrans are led by our wise men, our wise elders, our wise fathers, our wise uncles, our brothers, who will make up the Council of Elders of the Indigenous People of Biafra, whom, by the grace of God, our brethren in Norway, in Denmark, and in Sweden should be able to provide an office for. Please, uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank our wonderful brother, Dr. Nan for the job he's doing. Yeah. I, I wish I, I wish I'm a doctor though. Okay. I no, wish. I'm, sorry. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm a humble. I'm a humble servant. If you can put servant in front of me, and uh, from me, Nam Dekan, we are signing off and we're saying God bless you wherever you are. Do not forget to please rejoin us round about 12 midnight London time. We love you all. Thank you very much and God bless you. This is an extract from Radio Biafra broadcast made by Nnam Dekano on 25th June 2013. This video is not done to castigate Nnam Dekano nor anyone else, but rather to put the record straight for all Biafra people. Points you must note, Indigenous People of Biafra IPOB has a de facto government headed by his lordship, retired Chief Justice Eze Ozobo, and not Nnam Dekano as he claims today. Nnam Dekano was once a humble servant appointed to head the media department, Radio Biafra. 
before he became an arrogant commander of his radio followers. Namdekano made it clear who the leader of IPOB is and that every Biafran should come under the authority of Council of Elders of the Indigenous People of Biafra. Truth is very expensive. Very few people trade with it. But lies and deceit are very cheap and common. Many go after it. Know the truth, for it shall make you free. They say that I am a saboteur working against IPOB, working against Namdekano. That I have said that Namdekano did not form IPOB, he hijacked it. And I'm one of those people that have been penned down to be killed. Are you surprised? <laughs> you thought it's from the Nigerian government when I was saying this. Because it was meant to look like that. Our eyes are also on Nigerian government too. The forces behind this movement, I am not in control of it. I am telling you this. I'm an ordinary man, but there is a, all extraordinary forces pushing this. It was meant to look like when the heat is done, it will be government of Nigeria and the Janjaweed people who I am working up, mobilizing a million march against the impunity and sparkling or igniting a revolution. They are the ones behind my mother my assassination that was what it was meant to look like don't be surprised when i say that the only crime i committed is that they called me a saboteur working against ipob and then named the canon <laughs> i am not here to join issues with anyone but i want to directly tell nam the canon you're my brother you know the people involved they are in the uk i'm not going to say whether you whether or not you are aware or part of the plan or you give order for the plan but you know whom and whom we are talking about it is not without your knowledge even if it is without your knowledge now you've had it They are your top officials of IPOB within your rank and files in the UK. I'm not going to mention their names. And the information is still coming from the inside. It is from among you. This information is coming from every detail about all of you. Every single detail is here. Last night while I was doing my broadcast you they try to hack into my system try to make a mess of whatever we're doing it's a new it's not a new thing it's a regular thing but i want to advise you all first of all to name the count of my brother for their own good they should disembark it's an advice and they have i'm not going to give an ultimate they have time to contact me, to call me through any means whatsoever. I'm not asking them to apologize, but to reaffirm that they have disembarked. Else, even if you don't con even if you don't contact me, I will still know because the forces are within there. They are with they are inside you. I know you're going to call a new, a new meeting very soon. I will advise you, tell them to disembark for their own good. You know your businesses, what you do. And um, where you live. All of you. Whether you're from River State, Emo State, because they are all crook. Especially that lady. I don't want to call your name. From Emo State. You are among the three ladies in the meeting. For your own good. 
disembark because the journey you are about to embark upon will not just consume you but will clear and wipe entirely your generations there will be no trace in your family honestly there will be no trace because the gods the god of the land of which i stand upon the forces behind this platform will not spare anyone i'm just advising you and another piece of advice you see in this kind of journey to do this kind of a thing you don't just open up your mouth and be talking anyhow okay and you have to have levels of information so that before you even finish your plan it will not be known everywhere it will not be in the marketplace i'm telling you where this information comes from is from among you inside of you yeah so it's an advice whenever you are orchestrating this kind of thing bridle your mouth don't talk anyhow recently there was one man he's resident in the uk in the us he once told me not me directly he sent the message to my official line bvi channel one official line that he is ready to put a bait on my head a bounty on my head one million naira to get me down he was very you know affront about it i wanted to come and um you know tell the person that we are watching this is not the first time it is happening if you're following this platform i decided to wave it aside on the same accusation that i am sabotaging biafra and working against ipob that is just the only reason why they want to kill me and just few days ago i just decided to make that one public the one that gave time that i'll be killed before september he was sure about it and the old anya <laughs> anyways i don't have to say much but i've said enough and the last advice that i will advise these guys you have energy to kill but you have not killed a single fulani that have been ravaging our land destroying our farmland killing our people you have not you have not killed any of the political class that have made your life miserable because you are saying that you are here in the uk suffering and i'm here in nigeria in biafran land truncating and sabotaging your freedom you have the strength to plan you have the resources to assassinate me but yet the political class that have made your life and lives of my people miserable all of us you have not tried or attempted to even sit to discuss how you are going to take any of them down but it is me that you want to take down <laughs> The piece of advice I will give you, disembark, because the journey you are about to embark on will consume you, not just you, but everything around you. I'm signing out.